Hello everyone and welcome to this supplementary video that I've prepared for you for those people who are using Windows operating system and getting errors of Firebase not being installed in the terminal. Now I've heard from a few of you, actually enough people saying that they're having problem with Flutter Fire CLI and Firebase CLI installing those in the um, in a Windows machine. And I thought to just go through some steps required in order to do that together. And I'm uh, basically going to explore how to fix that myself. So this is not just going to be like an instruction of exactly what to do, but I'm going to go through some steps and we're going to try to fix that together. So if you're if you're not installing a Firebase a CLI and Flutterfire CLI on a Windows machine, you don't have to watch this video. This is only for people using Windows. So as you can see here, I have Windows 11. And I apologize also for a bad quality of voice because I usually have good recording studio here, but that, that is not connected to my Windows machine. And here I'm just using a, a headset, uh, basic, basically, which has a, a built-in microphone. So it's not following the same quality as the course. But this is just a supplementary material in order to help you in your journey. So what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to open up Chrome and let's go to... Um, and search for install uh, Firebase CLI. And there are different ways of doing this for a Windows machine, but what we're gonna do is to install, if, if we click here for Windows, and then say that we're gonna use the, not the standalone binary, but using NPM. And in order to do that, you need to install Node, and Node comes with NPM. So if you just go here and then download NPM, the LTS, download this package, and then install it on your system. After doing that, by going to terminal, you should be able to type npm, and you'll see that you'll have access to npm. So if you if you get this command here, and so if you are able to type npm and get response, then you know that you've installed npm correctly. Okay, so you can just say node version, and you can see that I have 16.13.2, which is this version that is right here. So go ahead, please, and install npm first. After doing that, we're going to install Firebase tools using NPM globally. That's what this um, G flag is for. So paste that command in your terminal, NPM install G Firebase tools, as you can see here. Also bring it up a little bit here, as you can see, like this. So I've already done that on my computer, so hopefully it's not going to try to reinstall everything because those things are already installed. Uh, but you never know with npm and i know rxjs actually does take a while to install so let it do its thing and then after that we'll see if we have access to firebase cli from the terminal or not okay so let's see I actually have to say that I wasn't expecting it to try to reinstall everything because since Firebase was already installed. After doing all this, you should be able to type Firebase in your terminal. So just typing Firebase, you should be able to get these commands right here. And if I say Firebase login, then it's going to say I'm already logged in. But otherwise, you just have to say Firebase login, and it will take you through the steps required to actually log in. So if I say log in or log out, and Let's say now Firebase login, which is what you're going to see on your computer, and ask me to uh, collect usage, and I'm going to say no for this question. I'm going to say allow, and then I'm going to log in with my uh, Google account and then say allow. And now you can see that I'm logged in, so I'm going to close that screen, and you can see here I, it says login in as man now Gmail. So that's for Firebase CLI. So that's already installed now. Now what we have to do is to go and install Flutterfire CLI. So let's go and say Flutterfire CLI install. <clears throat> and let's see if we can figure this out together. And I can see that it needs Dart. And you can see it needs Dart. But I, I have to say that I haven't yet installed Flutter on this Windows machine. So I have the Flutter library here, sorry, the uh, Git folder. And in bin, I can see I have Dart and Flutter. So on this machine, first I have to point this machine to Flutter installation. So uh, I remember how to do it in Windows uh, 10, but I don't know how to, to do it in Windows 11. So I'm just going to search for it. So I'm just going to say environment variables and I end up here in advanced and then I'm going to go here in environment variables and now here uh, we have to say uh, a new and we're going to say um, 
let's see, here's the path. Sorry, we have to go to the path. So I'm just going to uh, click on edit and I can see there are various paths. And in here, I'm just going to say new, <clears throat> excuse me. And I'm going to say C <clears throat> users backslash van dot backslash desktop backslash flutter and backslash sorry flutter with s lowercase f and then backslash bin like that i'm doing that i'm pressing ok and then ok if i now type flutter i don't have access to it but if i create a new terminal window i should now oops i don't know what i did flutter sorry terminal and if i type flutter Oh, I still don't have access to it. So it's probably something wrong that I've done. So let's go and search for environment variables again. Environment variables, path. And I can see C users, van dot, desktop, flutter, bin. So if we see C users, van dot, and that is correct, desktop, CD, desktop. Oh, desktop isn't there. Okay, so what do we have here? We have various things where is the desktop folder so that's a then that is a question so let's go and open explorer and then search for desktop and see where that is actually desktop i don't really know it's this pc <laughs> I mean, where is actual here is the folder so it's users man dot one drive desktop okay so that that was the mistake so you need to find out where your desktop folder actually is and i can see it is right here so i'm just going to copy that and I'm going to go back to the environment variables and I say uh, edit and I'm going to paste that and don't don't forget the bin folder. OK, so and then pressing OK there and OK here. Now we may have to close this terminal to for those changes to take effect. So I'm just going to say flutter and now you can see flutter is an understood command. OK, so if I now say a flutter doctor is going to search for various problems on my system for um, for the installation of Flutter, and it's for sure going to find a lot of problems because I don't even think I have Android Studio installed. Um, so yeah, there are some problems in here, but that's okay. That's not the goal of this video. So now we have Dart, which means we can go and execute this command to install the Flutter Fire CLI. So I'm going to copy that and paste it here. So let's see what it's going to do. Like that, it has activated Flutter Fire CLI, and then if I type Flutter Fire CLI, that's not a known command, so we have to say Flutter Fire. So Flutter Fire configure Flutter Fire. It's still not a known command. Do I have to maybe close? Let's see. Warning: Pub installs exec execu executables into this, which is not on your path. You can fix that by adding. Okay, so it actually told us that we have to add this to our path. So I'm gonna just copy this folder as it is stated there, and go back to my environment variables. And let's go to environment variables here to the path. Type, click the edit, and I'm gonna add a new path here and just paste that folder in with a backslash at the end if I can find backslash. All right, and that's it. And now we have that, and we may have to close this terminal window. I'm going to close this as well. So I'm going to go now open a new terminal, and I'm going to say um, Flutter Fire Configure. Fire Configure. And now it does not appear to be a Flutter application project. And that's OK, because we can just say CD, OneDrive, and Desktop. And I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm going to say Flutter Create Test App. So that's going to create a test Flutter application for us. And then I'm going to say test app. And then I'm going to say Flutter Fire Configure like this. And now you should have Flutter Fire completely and freshly installed on your computer. And you can see you can create a new application or do the rest of the configuration. So I hope this uh, video was useful for you. And if you know there are other people taking this course and they're using Windows machine, please forward this on to them so you can help others as well. And I apologize again for um, that this video isn't following the same quality as the rest of the videos, but I, it's just a supplemental supplements material. Basically, I'm providing for those who have in, uh, problems installing Flutter Fire CLI and Firebase CLI. So I hope you have a good rest of the day, and I'll see you in the rest of the chapters.